So, I always say so. You do, and you also say as you can see. So, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> at least, a lot of people do. At least, we no longer say, back at the bus again today, because the bus is right outside the house, so exactly. we're not driving to the bus. So, we got rid of one of our annoying um, to uh, Ace Hardware to get some wood glue. While he's doing that, I... I've been working on how I'm gonna handle this bulkhead. It's gonna be like a storage bookshelf kind of thing. Um, so I'm gonna line it with kill mat. I'm gonna put that really thin pink insulation that we used when we um, did the furring strips for our ceiling. And then I'm gonna utilize the frame of it as it is. I'm just gonna put like finishing pieces out here so it's wood and not metal. The general feel of that space is gonna be really similar as far as like the shape of it. accomplishing this beautiful thing I did what is essentially styrofoam and duct tape up here and it looks like a mess I basically just want some extra barrier in the same way that the furring strips had between the metal and the wood that's gonna go there um, the wool was a little too thick to put up there it is what it is it'll serve its purpose So we're um, just going to frame out that main center section in our bulkhead. Um, so just a couple measurements. We had 18 inch uprights um, and then these were 43 and a half um, horizontals. So basically we're just going to build these out here, um, square them up by measuring corner to corner and then you can have to rotate your box but that's how you know it can be square um, so we're gonna do this times two um, so it's gonna be doubled up and then we'll secure that together and then that will just slide right into our center bulkhead hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> and then we're gonna finish it up with some pallet wood pieces so we'll kind of show you more when we get up there but that's the gist finished um, frame for our center bulkhead um, just screwed the two ends together squared them up and then we just Craig jigged uh, four screws in the top and four screws in the bottom to hold it all together because um, it's even gonna get screws when we uh, mount it in that center bulkhead spot they'll go through here through the sheet metal that's on this side and then connect into another two by three for our other boxes. Um, so it will be super secure once we get it in there. And then like we said, this back section, we're gonna use pallet wood for. So we're gonna cut that and get that all screwed in, stapled in, um, maybe nail gunned in. And uh, that's what we're gonna be doing next. That's perfect. Yeah. And then we'll Could it be that we measured something and it worked the first time? Maybe. Perfect. So 
here's our box that we did. Um, like I said, we used the pallet wood for the back pieces, just kind of sanded them down a little bit. We still kind of like the rough look. Um, we'll do the tongue oil on that to help kind of waterproof it a little bit and it'll kind of make it a little bit darker. Um, but uh, we're gonna put it in and uh, I know it will fit. Yes. Anybody who gets that joke is my very best friend. Okay, so that fits in there really well. Um, we'll have a nice lip here for books, um, storage of other items. Items. And then we're gonna finish off like these edge pieces right here and here. Cause like I said, we're gonna put a, a screw through to secure both sides on that, but then we'll finish it off with some pieces of pallet that we'll cut to fit um, just to kind of give it a little more um, decorative look. Mm, looks good. But um, for, I don't know, not even an hour. Not even an hour. Not even an hour. Wood. It works uh, pretty good. Yeah, pallets are free. Well, and leftover wood. from the Pallets are free, uh, leftover two by threes for the frame. So um, yeah, turned out pretty good. Yeah. We had to stop working on the bus yesterday because Shane had to go to work, but we have that much of the front bulkhead done. And now we are doing the sides, which are kind of angled. The top has to be a little angled on these just because um, there are wires up top. And we want to be able to still give them the slack that they need to, you know, pull one way or the other. So it's just, it's not on you, but that was an awesome little dance. We want to be able to give them a little bit of slack so they can move around. So those ones are gonna be at an angle, but it's otherwise the same process as before. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get to it. We're gonna, I think Shane showed you yesterday, we're gonna finish it up with some more pallet pieces, but um, this project is going surprisingly smooth. I'm sure I just jinxed it by saying that, but I like this. Every measurement has come out perfectly. Um, everything's been good. So I've definitely jinxed it now. Yeah, we're going to have to cut that, baby. All right, I jinxed us. So, see those metal, can you point to them? See those metal lips on the side pieces? We have to cut one of them to fit in um, these triangular pieces we've created, which, I mean, is it's fair. It's hard to fit this perfectly into a space without having to make some accommodations, so I jinxed us. Guys, look. I didn't even have to bug him and he put on his gloves and his glasses to use the ankle grinder. Yes. So either he's tired of me nagging him or you guys nagging him, but either way, success. All right, so we finished our two um, little uh, corner boxes here finished product will look like that um, again it was the same setup as the main one with the two by threes and pallet wood in the back um, screwed it in and then used the nail gun on the back side um, used that last week also on the console and I forgot to tell my parents uh, thank you 
Uh, that was our first use of it, but it was a birthday present. It was a birthday present, and it has uh, um, worked out great so far. So yes. thank you again. Thank um, you. Love you guys. But we're gonna put these in, and uh, then we'll put some pallet wood up front and on the sides to kind of frame it up. Stop. <laughs> take our um, center bulkhead left and right and we're gonna suck them to this sheet metal but we're gonna drill through the metal into the wood to pull it right up to the edge and then we're gonna do our screws here to sink them together on this end right here here and here oh, I really 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 like owls so I see them in everything but Shane probably thinks I'm crazy this one Looks a little owl-like, right? But then this one. Uh, doesn't that look like an owl? Like he's missing an eye. Something happened to this eye. But look, there's this little beak. He's an owl. I already showed him that one. That totally looks like an owl, right? Anyway, that's why I picked those pieces because they remind me of owls. This one looks like Maybe an owl that melted. That happens sometimes. <laughs> anyway. coat on our um, front bulkhead bookshelf thing. I really, really like this stuff. I got it from Real Milk Paint and Co. honestly I think if we can find the right colors that's the company we're going to go through for all of our interior paint because their stuff is just um, it's awesome and it's uh, not going to give me any kind of headaches like a lot of the other stuff uh, you have to use does. So um, anyway that's what I'm going to work on. Okay, next day, back at it. Um, we, to remind you of where we left off, not that you don't know because you're literally watching a video about it right now. <laughs> anyway, this is where we were. We need to do these uh, front pieces here. And we realized that um, there really wasn't a good way to anchor them without a support down here. So we're putting some wood down here. There are already screw holes from some things that were up here. Um, we're making sure not to block where like the sun visors and rear view mirror and stuff like that we saved those and we'll be reinstalling those. But we're putting some pallet wood down here, um, screwing up through the holes and then taking some extra pallet wood and putting it up here to create kind of like the finishing touch. And that will just tack into the wood down here and then um, screw into these wood pieces here because it'll just barely go up there. Um, but hopefully the plan we have will work. Um, so right now, because they're pallet pieces and they're kind of wonky, Shane's taking a minute to straighten out the edges. Um, so we'll have them as even as possible. Yeah, they're just wonky. But yeah, it's, um, I'm actually impressed with how like useful this pallet wood has been.
So we got um, our framework done here and here. Um, we're gonna leave this top section open right here because we still have our ceiling to do. Um, I think it turned out all right. It's what we want. Um, great use of some pallet wood and uh, our front bulkhead I would say is 85% um, done. Today we're gonna work on the back bulkhead. Um, I think I showed you, but this is what um, the front bulkhead looks like. We went ahead and reinstalled the sun visors that we kept that were original. So this one, the front bulkhead is as done as it can be um, until we do the ceiling. I think Shane already said that, but anyway. So um, yeah, I would recommend keeping these. I don't know if there's better options, but these are free options. So we like free. This is all cleaned out. We have our measurements. We got our kill mat up. So now we are gonna frame this one out. It's gonna be a little different than up front just because um, it goes down deeper and it's more shallow and these wires, there's more wires. So we are going to close up these side spaces um, and then Preston, this is Preston's area. He'll have somewhere to hang pictures or whatever on either side. And then this will be like a shelf for him. So again, utilizing the general frame of the space and uh, I'm just framing it with wood, so. And instead of doing two two by threes doubled up together, um, we're just gonna use a single two by four. So it is a, about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch difference, but that's um, what fits back here better than the two, two by threes because yep. it's too short. So it'll be a frame of single two by fours instead of a double frame of two by threes. So Correct. that's the biggest difference as far as um, framing it out. And then we're gonna put pallet wood on the back and zip it in. And then um, we are not doing the sides of it today, just that center section. Another frame all made up. Um, we were gonna put the pallet wood on the backside and then put this support beam so we could piece together some of the, the pallets, the pallet pieces to um, give it a different look, but it was too thick for our area. So we just did these support beams on the back of the um, frame and then that'll allow us to put our pallet pieces on the inside like so. I had to play Tetris a little bit because the dimensions are a little off for how this seemed to work. Basically, we had a bunch of different pallets in there vertically, or not pallets, pieces of pallet wood in there vertically, and it just left us with like this little tiny space that was just weird. Um, so we decided to do some horizontally, some vertically, um, and Shane's cutting the last few pieces to go over here, and then we should be done. Alrighty, we got it done. Now, you know, it's the whole moment of truth to see if it fits in there. pretty good. Yeah. So we're going to do what we did up front and just um, screw into drill and screw into those metal sides to kind of suck it into place. And then we're going to frame it out, not frame it out, um, complete the look how we did up front with the outside pieces and then paint it with the tongue oil and then nothing until we get the ceiling up. Correct? Correct. off but it'll suck in but yeah the metal yeah, is the off. metal's super so. floppy yeah no i know 
Yeah. It looks good. And it's a bus. Is there uh, anything yeah, square no, in a bus? No. I don't even think the wheels are square. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. Dad joke. Dad oh, come joke. On. That was funny, everybody. Was it though? It was. It wasn't. It wasn't funny.